Right, the lab. Lab video, yes. Stardom. It's where we send naughty knock engineers to chill out. Still think you should put bloopers live. Hi right, guys, welcome back to another day in the life episode. I'm Ash. I'm Ralph. And we're gonna show you our lab. We've got a rack in the DC, that, or two racks in the DC, which is just kit for our lab where we do a load of tests in. And we wanna show you how we use that to our advantage when rolling out new kit, when testing stuff or troubleshooting bugs with various bits of equipment. So, come on me, we'll go in. Okay, so you'll have to excuse the noise, we are in the data centre now. Um, we, we're going to talk through our lab rack, this is where staff bring their own kit and they test. We get quite excited about new stuff, so we'll buy some new stuff, put it in and we'll test it. It's something that the NOC team use, the network team use, and it's just a way for us to test kit. So, Raph and I are going to talk you through some of the stuff we've got going on in it. Okay guys, so starting at the top, right here we have a Cisco Catalyst 6500 series and you've probably already noticed it's lacking some line parts. That's okay, that's just a lab environment thingy, we only have what we use, there's no point for having two power supplies for instance, that's why it's using a bit less power, being more eco-friendly and then if it dies, it dies, it's just a lab, we're just testing stuff here. Uh, at the bottom we have more of the same. Again, a single power supply, because that's only what you need in the lab. You don't need redundancy in the lab. Uh, going further down, we do have some switches here. We have a 3Com, we have some Cisco, so that's uh, 29,000, 2960G. Uh, so yeah, it's just probably just some switching that's required for running the test. Going further down, we do have some very basic servers. That's a very basic super micro one use. That's it, that's what you need for a lab. And going further down, we have some routers, switches, routers, and another server. So yeah, all you need here is just to perform basic tests on what you're gonna be doing with the lab. You don't need the, all the latest and greatest with every single bells and whistle. You'll get on with what you have and you'll test for all the potential bugs in the network or in the software or whatever you're testing. I'm gonna hand it over to the Ash now and we're going to a slightly more exciting stuff in the next slide. Yes, this, this is uh, where a bit more of the extreme stuff happens. So, as Raph's already explained, this side, this is kind of an on steroids version. So we've got some ASRs. There's these ASRs, we've got ASRs in our core as well, but where this is just a lab environment, it's nothing critical, so we can literally just come down and plug it in. Tomorrow this will be set up completely different because someone else will be testing something else. Um, so yeah, we've got a couple of ASRs here. We've not put any any um, modules in it. We don't need them, but if we need to, we'll just go and put them in. We've also got a raised comp, well, a few raised comp switches dotted around. Um, we've got 6800 at the bottom, which is quite a legacy bit of kit, but Sometimes we just need basic switching power. There's no point spending thousands of pounds on a switch just because it's new if that does the same thing and we've already got it. Um, you know, so we come down, we put it in, we test it, we plug it in. Um, it just gives us a chance to have a play, kind of work out what's going on. Sometimes we have, we have an issue with, 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 say, a particular server setup. We connect one of those servers to a switch and do all sorts of tests. Um, we also bring kit down here to stress test it. So we've recently tested some new routing equipment, which we brought down here, we put it in the rack, we've connected it all up in, our, in a way that we need it to, and we'll test it. We'll make sure it matches the throughput, that it doesn't overheat, that it doesn't bug out if we send too much traffic to it on a particular port with a particular whatever. It's for testing, so all the guys, myself, Raf, James, the knock engineers, our, our network engineers, um, you know, it's, it's constantly evolving, this is, and I think it's just good to show you guys how we make sure that before it goes into our core, that it's tested and it works. So even, for instance, when we do firmware updates on our routers, we won't push it straight to the routers. 
we'll, we'll load it onto here and we'll test it. We'll make sure that it doesn't break, we'll make sure that it can do what it's gonna do, just for that peace of mind. The last thing we want is to put something in production and it just craps out and I get a phone call at 2 a.m. in the morning, obviously. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's quite an extensive lab, very expensive kit in here. Um, and we've, we've been using it and keeping it up to date and installing new kit. We've got some new kit coming soon to go into it. I'm, I can't say what because it's all development stuff that we're getting early access to. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lab. It's what you expect. It's a mess because people are constantly coming down and plugging things in. One of the guys upstairs wanted to come down and do some stuff in here today, but because we're filming, he said no. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's constantly moving. All right, guys, thank you for joining us for this video. Uh, I have to be mindful there's a fiber just underneath there. I don't want to step on it. Yeah, but yeah, as you can see, it's been very done, very haphazardly, very just thrown in together. Uh, there are cables everywhere, but that's the purpose of a lab rack. You don't want it to be pretty. You need it to be functional. That's what its purpose, it says its purpose. So yeah, thanks again for joining us for this video and I hope we see you soon.